guys, I'm Pranav Shastri and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your RJ45 wall mounted socket. So, basically what's an RJ45 socket? It's nothing but your LAN socket. And what I have here is an RJ45 socket. Devices like your telephone, DSL or ADSL modems will be using this kind of technology. But if you want to learn how to connect the wall mounted LAN socket, then you need to do a bit of research. Basically nowadays, there are two types of connections. One is the T568 type and the other is To start off with, take your screwdriver and pluck the casing out. Carefully you like because it shouldn't break. Now remove the screw. My electrician has put only one screw. Otherwise, officially, there are supposed to be two screws on both the sides. After you remove the inner casing, you can see that a LAN cable has come. I don't have a skinning tool, so I'm using the scissors to skin the LAN cable. Remove the plastic cover and then you can see two wires have been bundled together. Do not separate the bundle. If you don't get the bundles right, you can skin a little more of the LAN cable. So here we have our bundles ready. Now we will need to skin each and any wire. I don't have a particular skinning tool, so I'm using the scissors. Skin all the wires. Here is our Roma Company RJ45 wall socket to which we are going to be connecting the LAN wire. That's our RJ45 socket. And at the back side, we have to configure the wire. So, first of all, we pass all the wires through the slot given at the starting. After doing that, at a comfortable point, tighten the screw so that the wire sticks on to the piece. Okay, so we have tightened the holder screw. And now just check if it's not shaking. Yes, so it's not shaking. Now this is a T568A type connection, which is not commonly used. And this is a T568B type connection, which is very commonly used. You can try the T568B type connection first. So this is how T568B type configuration goes for the Roma socket. You can find this picture on our website or you can copy it down on a piece of paper. So the green wire will go to the top left screw. And the blue wire will go to the top right screw. This is a T5 CH B type connection. You can also find the A type connection pictures on our website. Now we will connect the brown wire to the left intermediate screw. That is the screw below the wire to which we have connected the green wire. And 
and to the intermediate right socket screw we are going to connect the orange wire now getting the white wire connected is a bit of tricky job so as per the picture which you had been shown before you need to connect it on your own because even if i show you how to connect it will be a waste because you are not going to understand which is going to go to which even if you explain it to you because it's white and you can't differentiate properly because this is a cat 5 e cable so this is the way in which you need to connect the white wires as well after all the wires are connected connect your device and just verify if the internet access is working or not if it is not working there is either a loose connection or you have chosen the wrong type of connection if it's working then remove the lan uh, wire and mount it to the wall pass it out of the casing Since I'm using a fake Roma uh, casing because it's cheap, the direct screwing will be so. This is the inner and the outer casing. If you are using the original type of Roma casing, then you will have two layers, like the original uh, before one which I had, which was the Clipsol company. Here I'm going to put both the screws, tighten and secure it firmly and nicely to the wall. can be a time consuming job so i'm taking this now i take my screw driver so yeah our screws have been tightened and then for the fake roma casing you're going to get two caps to cover the screws and when you want to pluck them out there's a small hole you can pluck it out using a pin put it inside the small hole and pull it out so yeah it's all right. put your lan cable and check if it's working or not if it's working then yes it's successfully connected if it's not either there's a loose connection or you've chosen the wrong type of connection so thank you for watching my video guys please make sure you subscribe and comment and if you have any doubts feel free to comment so yeah